Hey everybody, sorry I couldn't be there, but man, what an honor, uh, what a privilege it is. Uh, one, to just be able to sit here and talk with you and just tell you what a blessing, uh, just being accepted into such a great uh, Hall of Fame. Uh, I mean, it, it truly, it started out when I was 13 years old and uh, the varsity football coach said, hey, you wanna, you wanna come play quarterback? And I guess maybe I was the only one that raised my hand to say this might be a good idea. But I uh, got to go out there and got to play, and we played some of the smallest private school ball that you will. But uh, it's an experience that I'd never trade for anything at Westbrook Christian School. And it started in eighth grade, and the journey just kind of began and began to grow from there. But uh, by the end of it, uh, you know, we, we were very competitive, got to play for state championships, and uh, just to see the growth of a team. And, you know, to me, that, that's the greatest thing about football. It is the, the greatest team sport that there is, and it's the greatest sport to prepare you for life. Because there's things that I learned in that small little 1A private school that I still carry into life today. And just the value of hard work, the value of doing your job, the value of being accountable to other people. And just the, those core values were placed in me and, you know, at a very young age there. And it also gave us an opportunity to play public schools and to, uh, to compete and to beat and to uh, begin to move down that road. But it also it, it gave me a platform to go play uh, college football. And um, I was blessed to get to go play at the University of Alabama and had a, had a great time there. And no, I didn't get to play. Uh, for Nick Saban, you know, I, I was one of the, the fortunate few that was recruited by Dubose, play for Fran, practice for Price, and finish with Shula. But once again, you know, it was just this big journey that God, God was preparing me for. And little did I know he was preparing me for, for all the different things in life uh, that uh, we're going to be doing now. But, uh, man, we had a great time there. And, uh, you know, it, from starting at 13 years old to getting drafted by the Kansas City, by the Kansas City Chiefs, uh, was a lifelong goal. You know, I literally walked in my parents' bedroom when I was 11 years old. I said, I'm going to play in the NFL. And they said, shoot for the moon, man. Worst case scenario, we'll end up in the stars. And I had an opportunity to go play there. And, uh, you know, there, I'd love to sit here and tell you that the football was amazing and this, that, that. But the life lessons that started at 13 that ended in the NFL, I'll never forget the first meeting that I was ever in. And I'm sitting there and I'm sitting on the front row like us quarterbacks tend to do and I got my notebook and, her, and uh, the GM walks in and basically says, hey, you're, you're a one-man business, handle your job or I'll go find somebody that will. But then a man named Herm Edwards. And you know, the, the football is full of coaches that had such an impact on you and Herm was one of those for me, but he walked in and he truly changed the way that uh, I was thinking because he walked in and I'm expecting him to say all these different things and he just said this, he said, guys, I don't care how good you are. I don't care how much money you make. I don't care how many Pro Bowls you've been to. I don't care what rounds you were drafted in. He said, I'm worried about you as a man. He said, I'm worried about you Monday to Saturday. He said, I, I drafted you and I've got you on this team because I think you have potential to be unbelievable. He said, but I'm worried about you Monday to Saturday. He said, I want you to be a good man. He said, I want you to be a good husband. I want you to be a good father. I want you to be a good friend. I want you to be a good teammate. I want you to be a good citizen. He said, because if I can get that right, he said, I know who I'm going to get on Sunday. And, and it, it truly just changed my way of thinking, and it changed what my, my trajectory was, and it made me start thinking beyond something greater than just, just myself and just the football thing that I've been chasing for so long. And, you know, I, I think a lot of us football players can get lost in that. And as a young uh, NFL guy, he got my mind thinking. And I, I truly attribute that conversation and that meeting with what I get to do now. And uh, what we do now is my family's had a ministry called Big Oak Ranch that we take in orphan, neglected, abused, abandoned kids. And we've had over 2,000 children that have called Big Oak home. And uh, we currently serve 154 kids every single day. And I, I get to, uh, to be the executive director of this ministry. And uh, we got three different ministries that we lead off of this. But I truly trace it all back to when I stepped into that huddle when I was 13 years old and God began this path of training me to be a leader, training me to understand people, training me uh, to get past the bad times and focus on what's ahead and to not get too high on the touchdown pass and to focus on what's the next series. So, man, just what a blessing uh, football is, what a blessing private schools are, and to just openly get to share the Word of God. 
and uh, the hope that comes in Jesus Christ. But man, what a blessing uh, it is to be honored in this Hall of Fame. Uh, once again, I'm sorry that I couldn't be there, but I'm humbled uh, and truly honored uh, that y'all would choose me. Hope you have a blessed night.